green flag is going to be back in the air. Elliot elects the inside lane. Allmendinger up high as they head for turn one. Three wide goes Briscoe down to the bottom. Four wide, the 48 of Gregson gets hurt. He backs it into the outside wall in turn one. Harrison Burton's around on the inside. Further back in the field as well, while they're side by side for the lead and door banging into three and four. Omendinger runs Elliott wide, and Omendinger has the lead. Harvick to second. He gets into the right rear corner panel of Omendinger. Omendinger's in the grass, and Harvick is in the lead. Kevin Harvick to the lead with about two and a half laps to go. Reddick now trying to get to the inside of Chase Elliott. Elliott gets turned by Reddick and turns six. Chase Elliott is around in the grass. He's spinning like a top down the hill. And Tyler Ruddick has just taken out Chase Elliott, who had dominated the final stage of the race. And Kevin Harvick has about a half a second over A.J. Allmendinger, who's back into second. Ruddick lost a spot after the contact with Elliott. Christopher Bell has fresh tires, and he's gotten to the inside of Allmendinger for third. Ruddick is still in second. The leaderboard was a little wonky on NBC's end. Remember, Bell pitted for tires. If he wins, he's in the next round. Logano spinning in the backstretch chicane. So is Byron. Byron needs the point. What is going on here? A cluster of a mess has just happened. Two to go at the line. Bell has fresh tires and is running down Tyler Reddick and Kevin Harvick after all the carnage that's ensued in front of him. Two by two is most of the field through the front stretch chicane, trying to make it through without another accident. We've had cars spinning everywhere. Everybody's using everybody up. And Bell is pushing extremely hard through the first couple corners. Trying to run down Reddick and Harvick to the end. But we stay green long enough to get to the white flag. If Bell wins, he advances to the round of eight. That would, as of right now, bump Cindric out. Cindric is four points above Daniel Suarez. And Briscoe is down 11 as something has happened to him on the restart where he has lost a lot of spots because he restarted in the top 10. Contact three wide, further back, turn six again. Harvick now has to worry about Bell because Bell has gotten around. Reddick caution is out again. The 42 of Ty Dillon has stalled. A piece of the curb has come up. And the backstretch chicane as well. Green flag in the air. Harvick gets the launch on the preferred lane down low. Bell up high, trying to have an advantage on those fresh tires. Looks to the outside. Harvick trying to get to the accelerator as quick as possible. They're five wide in the back. Cars go spinning. Elliott comes to a stop. Blaney goes around. The 48, 34, 17, uh, sorry, 47 rather, and 77 all around. But they're all going to get rolling again as we continue to stay green. Bell has taken the race lead away from Kevin Harvick. Kyle Busch is up to fourth. He's the next closest driver on fresh tires. As Christopher Bell has taken the race lead away, that means Kyle Larson is one point to the good on Austin Sindrick. Sindrick in 21st. If Sindrick finishes in the top 20, then Kyle Larson may be eliminated from the round of 12 of the playoffs. Assuming Bell hangs on to the win. He is pulling away from Harvick. Next closest competitor is Kyle Busch. Cars locking it up towards the back. Keselowski misses the backstretch of Kane. Sindrick gets dumped by Eric Jones in the 43. And Austin Sindrick is losing positions and losing points. As he'll be coming to the white flag. This time by Christopher Bell's going to get there. Next flag is going to end the race. Keselowski... Coming to a complete stop on the front stretch. I think that's for missing the backstretch chicane. Does Chase Briscoe have a chance to pick up five more positions and catch Kyle Larson? Ty Dillon's around in the grass on the front stretch. Briscoe is one point behind Kyle Larson. He is battling Austin Dillon for position. He will clear Austin Dillon for that spot. That means he is tied with Kyle Larson. So Cindric is 11 points back now. He's out of it. Chase Briscoe needs to stay in front of Austin Dillon, which as of right now means he's going to have to finish at 11th. If Briscoe finishes 11th or better, he will eliminate Larson from the playoffs. Briscoe putting the bumper to the 43 of Eric Jones as he's trying to make another pass for position. Three wide up off the exit of that final corner to get back onto the oval. Dillon going to get by Briscoe, but now Briscoe is going to finish or at least pass the 43 
Briscoe sending in a large lockup on the backstretch chicane on the outside, and Briscoe picks up about two or three positions. As his teammate Custer might have slowed the pack up on the outside because Briscoe got by a bunch of cars there, and Briscoe's all the way up to ninth. Checkered flag in the air at the front of the field. Christopher Bell is going to win at the Charlotte Roval. He will advance to the next round of the playoffs. And by two points, Chase Briscoe has just eliminated Kyle Larson in the round of 12. Unbelievable. Briscoe survives and advances in the elimination race again, much like at Bristol.